Good morning. It is just, just going through uh, Titus 2 again. Uh, says they are, uh, you know, it is some astonishing important words about uh, being a the husband and wife relationship. This is this is talking about older women teaching and coaching the younger women, and the expectations for the younger man is is self control, is self control, and Paul has left it as that for self control for the man. But he says something which is repeated in a number of other scriptures in the Bible on on the expectations of the characteristics of a of a of a wife that is that's glorifying to God. You know, if you don't do this, then you give the opportunity for the for the the devil to revile or blaspheme the name. Uh, you know, blaspheme uh, the word of the of the Lord. He says, um, older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good. Yeah, before you do even teaching, there's got to be a sense of being reverence. You know, there is a sense of which the uh, modern contemporary society, men are getting less and less reverent because of the worldview, because of the shift in uh, making everything like uh, pity, like a little, what is the word, um, insignificant. Basically, you just do what you like to do, and there's not much to. Uh, you just do what you want to do. There's no sense of reverence. Reverence is a sense of respect and honor. You know, so that has to come from God. The culture has been washed, so we need to rewash it back. They jam our culture. They desensitize our men and women and uh, they convert our people. Now it's time for us to do the deconversion, coming back to the values, the virtues of who, who God has called us to be. Everything listed in here, uh, in uh, I'm just talking about the women first this morning, is sort of agreeable to most. However, it is so powerful in the modern uh, cultural sweep that it becomes, it becomes uh, something that relabel it. Let me let me just read it. Okay, older women uh, are to teach what is uh, are to teach what is good, and so train the young women to love their husbands and children. I don't think there's a problem with modern modernity, right? To be self-controlled. Yeah, that's a big word, self-control. Um, this expected, but they don't. Uh, what do you call? They don't exhort that virtue in uh, modernity now, because you know it is just. If you look at the media, you don't see that coming out as something to be praiseworthy. As more of what um, for what you can get the liberty of woman. You know the liberty of woman. Woman's liberation, in a sense, is a is a consequence of abuses of men. It's a result of men not loving their wives. And the society at large not uh, treating women well. And the Bible has really brought a lot of restoration to this. Um, to be self-controlled, pure. Now purity is another virtue that's not talked about at all in our modernity. <coughs> It is <laughs> because you know why? Because the sensuality, lust of the society, so overwhelming, portray as this is what we call being converted. Everything is being desensitized. There is just no way to be converted. And everything of such pure is just put aside. The word pure doesn't exist anymore. You know, as long as you're comfy, 
as long as you love one another, as long as you um, satisfy one another, I guess. But there's no such thing as pure in the vocabulary. Okay, go on. <laughs> Titus 2 Paul said, to be self, teach the younger woman, train the young one to love the husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind and submissive to their own husbands. So uh, that the word of God may not be reviled or blasphemed. Now, to be self-controlled, working at home. Um, working at home, this is mainly in context of uh, looking after children and cook meals and uh, put the house in order, etc. There is such an emphasis in the Bible culturally. Now, women. So, I checked the uh, study Bible, Carson's, that it's not just that women are not allowed to work outside. It's just a manager. Manage your house well. That's what it is. Kind and submissive to their own husbands. So younger women, or all women, all men in fact. So in this case, particularly older women to train younger women to be kind. Okay, that is a virtue in our society. And submissive to their own husbands. Now this is a big one. <laughs> this is always uh, causing into a big trouble in water, right? Uh, of course, this is this is uh, balanced by um, men love your wives as Christ loves the church. So you can argue that who goes first? But it's just like it's so easy for a woman to submit to a husband who loves his wife, even anywhere near how Christ loves the church. If you have that, there will be no problem. This this uh, controversy of being submissive to the husband does not arise because there is no such controversy. How about we create some controversy for husband, love your wives as Christ loves the church. Hello, can we have some debate on that one? If husband do the job, there's no problem for wives to submit. But let me say this. Submission of wives and husband is biblical. God has certainly seen that as a requirement, as an expression of the creation order. If you and I do that, we will see a flourishing of the creation order in husband and wife. That's what I'm talking about. This is how important it is. It's not like Wow, this is not equity. How can, how can the Bible is so out of touch with reality teach this kind of thing? No, it's not. It's a, it's a creation order. How God created, how things are going to work. You can choose not to submit to your husbands. Oh, husbands, you can choose not to love your wives. Your marriage is going to collapse because that's the creation order. Now, of course, no one's perfect. We always sort of meet halfway, you know, because we're all both growing into it. This is a good thing. But if you don't have Christ, you've got nothing to grow into it because what have you got? Culture? <laughs> Culture or whatever? You see? So it says, be submissive to their own husbands that the word of God may not be reviled. Wow. You know, if, if this don't happen in your relationship between husband and wives, the word of God may be blasphemed or reviled, he says. Which means people will, people will not honor the word of God or joke about it and downplay the significance and importance of the word of God. Okay, so, so let me end with this. For the grace, verse for the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions. Okay, my time's running out. I will talk about it on the next video. Okay, thank you guys, have a good day.